Welcome to this guided meditation to start forgiving yourself. The place to begin with almost anything is yourself. You have to start to forgive yourself first, before you can start forgiving others. You cannot truly forgive yourself if you don't take responsibility for your actions. If you deny that you ever did something wrong, you can forgive all you want, but it's not going to solve anything. Does this mean that you need to feel guilty or shameful? Absolutely not. You just have to take 100% responsibility for the actions that you have taken throughout your life, and then forgive yourself. Forgiveness of yourself and of others will release you from the prison of your past. When you feel that you are stuck in some situation, or when you don't seem to be achieving your goals, it usually means there's some more forgiving to be done. When you do not flow freely with life in the present moment, it usually means that you are holding on to a past moment. You don't want your current thoughts and actions to create your future based on the past and instead create a wonderful future from a conscious and inspiring choice. Throughout this meditation, try to stay neutral. Don't judge yourself because it is all in the past and you can't change it. What you can change is your feelings of guilt, shame and anger towards yourself that have perhaps kept you stuck for a while now. You are not a bad person for having done the things that you did. In fact, many actions that you have taken have helped other people that you thought you had hurt. Perhaps it helped others to learn something, to grow up more quickly, and to become stronger. So, be grateful for the past. You did the best you could, with the awareness and consciousness that you had at that time. You can begin by setting an intention to forgive yourself. Take a few moments now to set this intention. We will start this meditation with a relaxation process, after which it is time to forgive yourself and to let go. I will guide you through this by giving you suggestions on what to forgive. You can forgive using a forgiveness statement. This sounds something like, everything that was, I forgive, I let go, and I am grateful. We say forgive, so you can forgive yourself. We say let go, so you can move on and release the need to be stuck to the past. When I say let go, you can also breathe out as a physical confirmation that you let go. And we say I am grateful because it will help you to realize that it was okay. It helped you in some way to be who you are today. At the very least, you learn something. If you wish to change this forgiveness statement, feel free to do so. At the end of this meditation, I will also guide you through some inspiring statements to help you to move forward with your life. And let's begin. Take a deep breath in 
and relax. Take another deep breath in and relax. If there are any tense spots in your body, breathe into them and let them go. Take another deep breath in and relax. Think of a time in your life where you felt shame about who you are. Travel back to that moment. Take a moment and recall that memory. Feel the feeling of shame that you had about yourself. Really feel that feeling. Shame is the worst emotion there is. It is a feeling that makes you feel that you are a bad person. You need to let it go, because it is just a label that doesn't help you at all. So, let's take a deep breath in and release this shame. Breathe in and everything where you felt bad about yourself, forgive, let go and be grateful. Breathe in and everything where you felt ashamed of yourself, forgive, let go and be grateful. Breathe in, and everything where you felt embarrassed for who you are, forgive, let go, and be grateful. Breathe in, and everything else where you felt shame, forgive, let go, and be grateful. Continue breathing in and out. Breathing in and out. Let's move on to guilt. Guilt is the feeling that you did something wrong. Think of a situation in your life where you felt guilty about something that you did. Travel back to that moment. Take a moment and recall that memory. Feel the feeling of guilt that you had about yourself. Take a deep breath in and release this guilt. Take another deep breath in and everything where you felt that you hurt yourself or someone else, forgive, let go and be grateful. Breathe in and everything where you cheated on yourself or on somebody else, Forgive, let go, and be grateful. Breathe in, and everything where you stole something, forgive, let go, and be grateful. Breathe in, and everything where you betrayed yourself or others, forgive, let go and be grateful. Breathe in and everything else where you felt guilty, forgive, let go and be grateful. 
Continue breathing in and out. Breathing in and out. Whereas guilt is a negative emotion about the past, fear is something about the future that hasn't happened yet. Often fear stops people from doing something which might lose them from certain opportunities and results. Therefore, it's very important to forgive yourself for your fears that have held you back. Think of a situation in your life where fear stopped you from taking action. Take a moment now and recall that memory. Feel the feeling of fear stopping you and holding you back. Take a deep breath in and release this fear. Take another deep breath in and everything where you let fear stop you, forgive, let go and be grateful. Breathe in and everything where you lost opportunities because you didn't take action, forgive, let go and be grateful. Breathe in and everything where you were stuck and lost a lot of time and energy, forgive, let go and be grateful. Breathe in and everything where you really had to change but you didn't, forgive, let go and be grateful. Breathe in and everything else where fear showed up and stopped or damaged you or others in some way, forgive, let go and be grateful. Continue breathing in and out. Breathing in and out. The next thing to forgive yourself for is anger. Often anger is a result of an unmet expectation. You promised yourself to do something, but you didn't do it. Or you promised to stop doing something, but you continued doing it. Think of something in your life where you had such an unmet expectation. Feel the feeling of anger and frustration with yourself for not keeping your promise or expectation. Take a moment now to recall such memory. Take a deep breath in and release this anger. Take another deep breath in and everything where you expected something of yourself but you didn't do it, forgive, let go and be grateful. Breathe in and everything where you didn't keep your promise, forgive, let go and be grateful. Breathe in and everything where you had a high expectation of someone that wasn't met and resulted in you being angry, 
forgive, let go and be grateful. Breathe in and everything where you were furious and enraged towards yourself or towards someone else, forgive, let go and be grateful. Breathe in and everything else where you were angry or disappointed with yourself, forgive, let go and be grateful. Continue breathing in and out. Breathing in and out. The opposite of shame is pride. When you feel shame, you feel less than. When you feel proud, you feel more than. Personally, I don't like it when people say that they are proud of me. Why? Because if someone tells you that they are proud of you for doing something, they will also be ashamed of you if you didn't do something. It's a very conditional way of living. I prefer unconditional living love and gratitude instead of pride. And of course there is the ancient proverb, pride before the fall. Think of a moment in your life where you felt really proud of yourself. You puffed yourself up and felt so proud of yourself. Take a moment now and recall that memory. Take a deep breath in and release your pride. Take another deep breath in and everything where you put yourself higher than someone else, forgive, let go and be grateful. Breathe in, and everything where you are arrogant, forgive, let go, and be grateful. Breathe in, and everything where you only feel good when you do something instead of just being yourself, forgive, let go, and be grateful. Breathe in and everything where you lived a very conditional life instead of unconditional, forgive, let go and be grateful. Breathe in and everything else where you are proud, forgive, let go and be grateful. Continue breathing in and out. Breathing in and out. Let's move on to grief. Grief is a feeling of loss of someone or something. When you feel grief for a short time, it is understandable as you adjust yourself to your feeling of loss. However, long time grieving doesn't help you. Also, there's no such thing as a pure loss. There's only transformation. Even scientists say this, Energy can neither be created nor destroyed. For example, if someone close to you died, their essence is still with you. 
your memories together, pictures, lessons learned, and other things. Also, you get to spend more time with other people who express similar character traits as the person who passed away. Every single thing that you shared with that person is transformed into other forms. If you wish to dive deeper into dealing with your grief, I highly recommend you to attend the Breakthrough Experience by Dr. John D. Martini. Or, if you lost an opportunity, you have more free time and other opportunities will arise. Start to think in terms of transformation instead of gain and loss. Let's take a deep breath in and release all of your grief. Take another deep breath in and everything where you lost a job or opportunity, forgive, let go and be grateful. Breathe in and everything where you lost a loved one, forgive, let go and be grateful. Breathe in and everything where you broke up with someone or where you got dumped, forgive, let go and be grateful. Breathe in and everything else where you are grieving, forgive, let go and be grateful. Continue breathing in and out. Breathing in and out. Finally, perhaps there are some other things that you wish to forgive yourself for. Take a few moments now to think of anything else that you wish to forgive yourself for. Use the clearing forgiveness statement. I forgive, I let go, and I'm grateful. Or use your own forgiveness statement. After a few moments, I'll be back with some inspiring statements. Let's finish this guided meditation with some inspiring statements. You can repeat these in your mind or simply listen to them and take them in. I take 100% responsibility for my actions. I visualize love, kindness and forgiveness every single day. I am responsible for the way I react. I am enough. I love myself deeply and fully. Love radiates in everything that I do. I restore all that I have done to consciously and unconsciously hurt myself.
I no longer harm myself because I am worthy of life and of love. I release the need to feel guilty. I release the need to feel remorseful. I allow myself to change and to live a moral life. As I forgive myself, it becomes easier to forgive others. I forgive myself for not being perfect. I am no longer a victim of my history. My life is truly meaningful and fulfilling. I find meaning in everything that happens. I have compassion for myself. I embrace my dark times and my scars. I am kind to myself. When I change the way I look at things, the things I look at change. I am ready to be healed. From now on, I willingly forgive the past and let go. I move on to create a joyful and fulfilling life. I have the freedom to make my life any way I want it to be. I end on love, no matter what. All is well.